Okay, what's up internet? Uh, this will be a, an SSD NVMe replacement uh, for the Lenovo IdeaPad. It's a 8th generation i5 computer and uh, we figure out that it's got right now 250 gigabyte SSD and 8 gigabyte of RAM, which at this age in time is not sufficient for to run uh, systems properly. So I decided to upgrade it. So basically, I have here the Hike Vision E2000 SSD. It's a one terabyte SSD. I already cloned whatever on this computer onto this SSD. If you need the to learn how to clone. I'll put it in uh, the link below. And uh, I have here, I just received it, the Arctech, Arctech, sorry, uh, DDR4 memory, 3200 uh, megahertz. So this is how it looks. So we can start uh, with no further ado. Let's start with the installation. So first of all, I will need to remove all the screws in here. So in order for me to get into the, the SSD and the memory. This is where we remove it carefully. You can see it's been removed. And now we have to expose uh, our SSD, basically, which is that. But before we touch anything, it's safer just to, to disconnect the battery. It's recommended to ground yourself. Okay, so the battery is out and there's no, no longer risk to fry this computer. Okay, so I'm going to expose this uh, screw that uh, Lenovo was conveniently hiding. It's probably the warranty would be void at this stage. So Take care, looks to me like a Phillips, small Phillips head. So I remove it. So this is the small SSD, the 250, 249 gigabyte. And at this stage, uh, I will replace it with the one terabyte. And you can see the difference basically. So there's much more memory slots in here. So I'm putting it at an angle and I will push it in. Now, do not force the screw, just very lightly, just so it will hold. Okay, that's good enough. And now it's a good time to check uh, the memory slot, the RAM. So to reveal it, you just have to peel off this cover. And you can see this is the eight gigabyte RAM stick that came with this originally with this computer. And we will replace it with our new one. You can see the difference. Of course, it's got many more uh, slot to contain memory. So in order to put it, you 
keep it in an angle and just push it in and there you go that's how it's done and now just put the cover back in as it is in between the slot I don't know if you can see it and we keeping those parts safely now it's a good time to connect back the battery if you want to clean this computer do it before you connecting the battery so far so good with this uh, computer and I'll close it I'll close it down and then uh, we'll check how it works okay so now to close it exactly the same way but backwards just uh, push it from the side there is like the VGA port just make sure that uh, everything is coming in gently in not to force things in too hard and it should click back in place fairly easily now what we need to do is just check that there's no wires exposed and everything falling into place and what we need to do is to click it back in so it will engage into the slots here and now Okay, making sure that everything falls into place and now it's a good time to put back the screws slot okay okay so now we after we put everything together and uh, tighten the screws uh, we can check if our installation was successful so we power it up hopefully it will power up so okay so it took it a little while but it's booting up okay so it looks like it's uh, it's doing its job and uh, it's doing its thing it looks like installation was successful we can check it by press the control shift and escape it's going to open for us the task manager um, our memory registered right now well there was a installed in the computer in the, there was a chip of four gigabyte and now uh, with that's with another 16 that we installed it's registering a 20 gigabyte of ram and you can see that the computer is running idle and everything is good and our SSD is registering so let's see what we have and okay so that was almost full and now we have like another 727 gigabyte out of the 952 gigabyte this computer will perform perfectly now so I think it, we can take it we can keep it for another five years before having to replace it if so so i hope you enjoyed if you did and it helped you please like subscribe and more content will come uh, in the future thank you very much for watching